Hog is in for the first time this season. Boys, welcome. Tommy, we saw Northcote Park last weekend in very similar conditions, it must be said, warm day. Looked great. Bandura also played in, in pretty warm conditions last week and, and lacked a, a fair bit of run, actually, it must be said. Uh, they've got a few outs today as well, and you almost think that uh, Northcote Park goes in his favourites now. Yeah, you'd have to say so. Massive structural outs for the Bulls with NFL Team of the Year 2011 fullback Ben Shelton and centre half back recruit Luke Hyatt. Late, exclu late exclusions today from the Bundura lineup. I think the big question today is whether the Northcote Park side, coached brilliantly by Jason Heatley all year, can they continue this astounding run of form since coming back from eighth place on the ladder in round 10, or can this proud Bundura side rebound from a tough back end of the year and send off exiting coach Phil Malin with a premiership to remember? It's uh, looming as a, as a great one, and uh, we're very close to the first bounce. Players are in position. It looks like Northcote Park is going to be kicking to the Kramer Street end of the ground with uh, Bundura. I should take that back because it looks like Cameron's clock set himself up down back. It very well may be because it's Northcote Park kicking to the city end of the ground rather than Bandura to the, uh, the Kramer Street end. So cloak to set half back. We see a bit of a change up early on. Uh, umpire holds the ball off and we are ready to go here in the Division 1 first semi-finals. The umpire comes in, bounces the footy. It's Wunton up against Sibinella. Sibinella gets first hands on the, booty, on the footy but it's extracted by Bronick Davies. Sends Northcote Park inside 50, attacking the footies Oak is now O'Connell, has a shot on goal, that's going to miss to the near side, might just sneak through for a point. So Northcote Park off to the quick start with the first behind, that was Coleman attacking the footy, not uh, O'Connell first up, nice hands off and uh, first score was registered by Patrick O'Connell, just a minor one, we've played less than a minute, it's Northcote Park, one behind Bandura, yet the score cloaked down in the back line, that's an interesting one Tommy, and it looks like he's got the kicking out duties. Yeah, interestingly enough, we'll see where this one goes, big Cameron Cloak at full back, and he goes for the barrel, the torp right in the middle of the ground, looking for Dennis, uh, bounced over his head, it's going to sit nicely for Davies, but well belted by Carmuciano, find the team at, now Marshall kicking inside forward 50, bit of a grubber, Violato should clean this one up, gives off a little handball, wasn't successful, Shaw gave off the hands, now chance for Bandura, uh, whistle's gone, possibly a free kick paid. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a high one. I think it's going to go back there to David Mitchell. So he's on the edge of the forward 50, kicking, looking for Moorcroft. He's going to be blanketed by McNeese all day. McNeese lays a good tackle. Moorcroft able to get onto Dennis from the pocket. It's a fair effort on goal. Getting back, though, on the last on defence, Sean Lorenzini. He'll be content to just rush this through. He's made a, almost a meal of it, but uh, eventually gets the ball across the line for a minor score. So it's a point of peace. Very interesting seeing Cloak down in the fence, but Northcote Park very quickly moving this ball out of the fence on that far wing. Moving up now to centre wing and on the lead is Patrick O'Connell in front of Cloak. Picks up the footy, couldn't take the mark cleanly, but able to crumb it. And kicks inside forward 50. On the lead there was Kelly, kept his footing, but it's a great spoil from behind by Barbero. And we'll have a throw in, a quick transition there for Northcote Park. They're now within 40 metres of their own goal. Scores level one apiece. Interesting that Cloak's also on O'Connell as well, because O'Connell isn't... Yeah, the biggest player out in the field, and he'll certainly look to run him around. Though it does allow Cloak to ruck when that ball is inside defensive 50, and that's what he'll do up against Flynn. Cloak won it down to the front of the pack. In and amongst it there, looks like the leader on that far side. He's wrapped up straight away, and we have a boundary throw in, again, inside Northcote Park's attacking 50. Good aggressive start by both teams. Love the intensity, and the ball movement early. Nick Carter laying out a beautiful ball for O'Connell, who didn't have to break stride before. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. To the man in Kelly, and that one's just gone off hands out of bounds for yet another throwing down the outer side. Late changes, of course, for those aren't aware. Ben Shelton is out with an ankle injury, which he uh, did at training, won't take any part in the, uh, the remainder of the season as well. It's a bad run where he's, he's done some ligaments and, and broken a bone. And Luke Hyatt also out with uh, Selv Mamone and Luke Shelton. So four players out of this Bandura lineup from last week as they win this centre clearing or this clearing ball now. But it's a, it's a pretty tough footy now. It's a hot one. Going through the middle of the ground there is. Uh, is Farrelly, in fact, in the middle of the contest, kicking long. It's a strong mark in oh. front, taken on that far wing, and it's uh, taken by Big Maddie Dennis. Dennis goes long up to the half forward flank, getting back there for Northcote Park's Lorenzini. The spoil came at the back from Hogan, and he fists the ball on that far forward flank in front of the Kramer Street Hotel. It's Bandura, one behind. Northcote Park also one behind. As the umpire now set the throw in. Sibinella will do the ruck work for Bandura, now attacking half. Dennis getting there too, third man up. Wins the tack, the tap down to Shaw. His handball's been turned over. A lot of bodies around this footy. It's a hard footy to win. Northcote Park looking to extract this one now. They're going to go back across the face of the goal with Scanlon. Handball over the top to Hogan. He's in some space now, Hogan. He opts to go down the middle of the ground. It's a thumping kick, but a good spoil from behind by Cloak. McLennan's getting in there as well to give his teammate a helping hand. He's wrapped up, and the umpire will bounce the ball down yet again. Centre half forward for Bandura. 
Cloak making sure that his opponent knows that he's right behind him. He's going to push forward here now, so you have to be uh, mindful of him. Off your arrow, Connell, but Northcote Park winning the footy. The handball came out there from Pappas, who's worked back, but David Mitchell intercepts. His kick smothered. He had Cloak on. Really well down. Now Carter gets it out wider. O'Connell right in front of the interchange gate. Kicks it forward, looking for and finding Coleman. Great lead. A really, well, he's just slipped there on the race, but he's okay. But as you said, he's really pushed hard at that one. And, he marked in front of Michael Mitchell. Could have given off then. He had the man inside in Morris. Didn't use him. Now he goes central. It's a lovely, lovely kick to a leading Bonnie Davis who marks just on the pane of forward 50. Kicking into space. Won't quite find Kelly. He'll be able to pick it up with the bounce. He wasn't clean though. Allowed Barbera to affect a, a bump. Now the ball's been wrapped up. Plenty of bodies around it. Almost like the rugby scrum. Barbera is able to extract though. Gets it out the shore and they're running now through Matthew Hyde. Hyde goes long up the wing. Dennis on the long lead. He's going to pitch in front of him and kept inside. No, umpire said it was out of bounds. So early inside 50s there, Michael. Northcote Park doing the uh, early damage. Uh, yeah, Northcote Park have three to Bunder is two and clearances are three to one Northcote Park's way. And the Rucks are now go at it again. It's Sivanella uh, getting in there against Wunton. Sivanella won that one down. Now running inside forward 50 here for Northcote Park. That's a long ball inside towards a key target. Good spoil over the back. Nice work. Uh, Matty Hyde trying to pick it up off the back. And now Palazzolo running through the middle of the ground. Sorry, that was uh, Mitchell. Uh, good kick up to centre half forward. Finds Matty Dennis, who's uncontested. He swings around on the right foot, tries to get it inside to Paul Harrison. He's about 20 out. And he's uh, taken the mark, possibly touched off the boot, so the umpires called it play on. Gave off a little handball, swung around the corner, deep into the forward line. Dennis is approaching the goal square, good defence there at the back. Needs to be clean though, I uh, think it's O'Connell. Gave a little handball off, Violato's got it now. Gave it back to him now, running on the outer side, Northcote Park. Little kick into the middle of the ground, it's not going to be a mark. Uh, Brock McLennan gets it on the half volley, gives off a handball. Now, moving in waves through the middle here, Northcote Park. That's not a bad kick, Great he's going to hit Coleman again. With another beautiful lead and another beautiful kick to him. And he kicks long in side forward 50 there's going to be a mark here oh dropped the uncontested mark down there in the forward pocket was Rajab got it back to Scanlon he, he picked it up off the deck a couple of Bundura players converge right next to the boundary it's going to be a might throw have away. been Kelly who dropped that one there the sun just got in his eyes he just ran over it oh, back of that Dennis one gee Harrison was into the space mm. he just put it above his head he had to put it out to the lead Northcote Park didn't make the same mistake when they moved forward so the cleaner movement cloak goes up uncontested there but won the ball down kicked past this one down the lead he goes, kept it in Thumps it inside forward 30. Shaw has to pitch under it. He couldn't quite do that. In fact, it was uh, Mitchell now going hard for North the Park was leader, but uh, getting through there was Manny Hyde. Did that really well and switched it over to Michael Mitchell. Michael Mitchell now running on that far wing. Handball to Braden Shaw. They're oh. under the pump. He ball's been turned over. Carter smothered, runs into the open goal and kicks the first goal of the afternoon from the turnover. Great work there from Nick Carter and he registers the first major. Northcote Park 1-1-7. Bandura one behind. We've played here at Preston City Oval just over seven minutes. And Carter was so prolific last week, along with Deledio with that run outside half back. Often does like to sneak forward because he is such a beautiful kick. And uh, as you saw us there, a brilliant little effort to get the smother in and then convert it into the first goal of the day for the Northcote Park Cougars. Great start. They did it well there. Uh, it, was, it was a good extraction from Hyde, but they probably <laughs> went one handball too many, didn't they? Overpossessed it as Sibinella wins the tap down to Farrelly. He's wrapped up straight away. It's great to see Michael Farrelly back out there. Of course, he missed last weekend with a calf injury, but one of the uh, one of the premier midfielders in the NFL as Wunton gets up early this time. Couldn't get a hand on the footy. Hits the ground. Scanlon with this snap around his body. Touched play on, you heard the effects. Mike McLennan got the spool away, away from his attempted mark. Now it's Mitchell again, running onto it. Got around Scanlon, just pushed off an opponent there. The umpire said hi, and it's a free kick there to Daniel Rajab, who took a contender for mark of the year last year, last week, didn't he, Tommy? He was a, a big fly against West Preston Lakeside, of course, in that 28-point victory. They've really uh, tended to use this grandstand side of the ground when they've uh, moved forward today as Rajab, told to hurry up by the umpire, goes long. Fly came from Coleman, who's been good early. Falls to the front of the pack. In the hands now, that was Morris, who got the handball inside. McLennan, he couldn't quite pick it up. Morris in a bit of strife behind play here. Slow to get to his feet. And uh, the trainer gets it across to him now. He might be in some, uh, some pain in the shoulder or, or head there as Winton won it down there. Rajab unable to take it cleanly. Kick ball, kick four for Bandura, but the spoil came from Lorenzini. Picked up by Carter. Carter gets through oh. two tackles, he's done well. Handball's off now. Now they're in space. Pappas, Deledio, now Scanlon. Scanlon chips it inside, finds Lorenzini, and he holds the ball up in the middle of Preston City Oval. 
He's a lovely left foot kick. He opts to handball this time around. They might come back out to Deledio or Morris. That kick's above Deledio's head. He's going to have to do well to mark this one. The spool came there from Dalbridge, but Deledio picked up the crumbs, kicked it forward, and finds Rajab. Right in front of us here in the commentary box, Rajab oh. kicks into Cloak and the man on the mark. Going hard now, Wooten. You can hear the bump there. He went up against Graham. Big oh. tackle now late. Probably in the back it is. And Dalbridge wins a hard footy. Graham for his done a shoulder or a collarbone here. That was in that bump with Wooten. You actually yep. heard the bump in the effects, Mike, and he looks worse for wear. A bad blow for Bandura early on. And now the ball kicked up to about half forward for Bandura, but the Northcote Park play is doing well off the back. Might that be 50 nice metre penalty. Run through the mark here. It is going to be a 50 metre penalty, and this puts Northcote Park within a scoring shot chance. Uh, Patrick O'Connell will take this one. You'd say it'd be about 50 metres out. That's where the umpire is standing, about 48 metres out where he's going to put the mark. So it's, it's going to have to be a good kick. Inside 50s, Michael. Northcote Park's probably had the past couple. Eight to three, they're dominating field position at the moment, and Gary Morkoff just hasn't been sighted yet. As we see Graham now go down the race, and that doesn't look good. Could be an AC or a collarbone, the AC joint rather, as O'Connell comes in. and probably kick from just inside 50, cloak on the mark. O'Connell comes in, he's a good kick of the footy, that one's going to hold up in the breeze, won't quite have the carry, Wunton gets back, this ball came from James Lord, deep in defence, and Lord looks very similar to Michael Farrell he did last year, with that, the, the long blonde locks, of course, Farrell with the, the darker hair this year, but a bit of a lookalike there, as uh, the ball now to be thrown in, thrown in rather, 10 metres out from the Northcote Park goal, the centering ball, punch forward, who can run onto this one, it's Mitchell, handballs over the top, they've got numbers on this outside now, as the uh, ball kicked up in the space to Palazzolo, it's a lovely kick that came out there, and now he's got the returning uh, star in, in Brett Marshall running on the wing, Marshall runs his full quota and kicks long, looking for, for Moorcroft, the ball pitches away from him, allows Hogan to get in there, Moorcroft did well to present a, a tackle there, that handballs are dangerous, I'm getting back Considine, Going it hard there again. That was some great work by the Northcote Park defender. It might have been Letter who got back there. And the umpire comes in and he has awarded the ball up. In fact, it was Deledio who got back for that hard ball get. Now the rocks to go at it again. And the defensive end for Northcote Park, forward end for Bandura. And it comes out here for Bandura if they can get a quick kick in there and maybe possibly a mark. There's a chance for their first scoring try of the day. And now swung across to Cloak at about 65 metres out. He's got Harrison on a long lead. He heads in that direction. It's not a bad kick. And he's got him. Lace out Paul Harrison there in the pocket. Harrison being manned by Violata. So I reckon he probably came into today's class thinking he, he might have Cloak, but a but, uh, bit of a shock, I guess, for him to, to see him down the other end of the field as Harrison comes in. I don't think he kicked one last week against, against Heidelberg. He was very quiet, but so he's been promising early on. He, he certainly uh, he had, he had his man on the lead earlier on, but uh, the kick went over his head. And that time here, he presented well again, and he'll shoot now from about 35 metres out, kicking to the Kramer Street end of the ground in front of the scoreboard. Harrison shot on goal, looks pretty good off the boot, and he has kicked Bandura's first for the afternoon. Paul Harrison, and scores are once again level here at Preston City Oval. It's Bandura, one goal, one seven. Northcote Park also one, one seven. And in this first quarter now, we have now ticked over the 19 minute mark. We saw it in round one, Paul Harrison kicking five against West Preston. That was a fantastic way to start the season. Uh, hasn't had those sort of numbers that many times throughout the year, but if he can come into some really good form for finals, that's a really good thing for Bandura. Good to see him in amongst the goals. We'll have to kick a couple today, particularly with, if Cloak does stay back. And uh, Moorcroft's got the, uh, the man in McNeese on him who's had a great year. Is, now that's played advantage. Ooh. It's going to be a ball up as Mitchell's. He actually stopped after the decision. He was tackled to ground now as a bit goes on. Getting involved there for, uh, for Bandura was Carl Lyon. And we're going to have a blood rule as David Mitchell makes his way from the field. Of Doug course. Morris still hobbling around a little bit. He's going to be very important for those clearances throughout the day yeah, for Northcote Park. He's a big tackle before and he's uh, certainly feeling the after effects of it. It's even still, as uh, Brod Gray comes onto the field for his first run today, replacing David Mitchell. And Mitchell just crosses over the interchange gates now, so we are ready to resume play as the umpire throws that one up. Winton flies, Sibin, now they've got first hands on it, the leader in amongst it, so too Scanlon, trying to run through a wall of Bandura players, he wasn't able to, to do so. So another ball up, thrown up by the umpire, neither Ruckman gets a, a clear win out there, Shaw then tries to break through and it's another ball up, good to see some hard pressure in the middle of the ground. Thrown up against Sibinella on that one, but only as far as the leader. He was tackled as he went to kick, extracted from Shaw, went long inside 50. Over the head there of Dennis and his man Considine, tapped forward, Palazzolo trying to break through. He's wrapped up, and the umpire says, I'll take the footy. In fact, it wasn't Palazzolo, it was Carmuciano, and he was wrapped up by Hogan. And we might have another blood rule here, so <laughs> two in a space of, uh, of a minute as Deledio makes his way from the field. He'll be replaced by the Northcote Park skipper, 
And of course is Bronick Davies. In yeah. fact, it wasn't uh, the leader first off, it was uh, Noldrick coming off, but I reckon the blood rule might be on uh, a misman in Carmuciano, in fact, as he comes from the field. So Northcote Park taking advantage of, of the Holton play and bringing Davies back onto the, onto the ground. And Matty Brown is also the man coming on for Bandura. Now yeah, the ball balled up, deep inside forward 50 here for Bundura. That one one down by Sivanella, no real advantage. Scanlon probably could have been taken high. He was held on to a little bit. There's a free kick, it's going to go Bundura's way. It's going to be a difficult set shot from here, about 55 metres out they'll take the kick from. But uh, I think the free kick was there, just a little bit of a high hit. And I think Stellis will be taking this one. And he's usually a pretty reliable kick from any, any area around the 50. So Andrew Stellis has uh, really cemented his spot on the side this season. Kicks along, it's got the carry. It might just Ooh. make the distance. Touched on the line, in fact. So a minor score for Bandura. It looked pretty good off the boot. He really got a good roost on that one there. But uh, touched on the goal line. Otherwise, it would have been through for a goal. Bandura, 128. Northcote Park, 117. Kick out duties again. Rest with Scanlon. Chips in short to Hogan. Hogan now. Looking for the grandstand side. He's got a flock of players swarming to this, uh, this swing. He went short instead. I went centrally to Delidio, who's a lovely user of the football. He's going to break out to the far side, where a long lead is made by Rajab. Went at it one-handed, couldn't quite take the mark. Now it's a foot race. Tap forward, Rajab goes again. I reckon the banjo line might beat all comers here. No, it's kept oh. in. And Bandura done really well here. Kicking the ball forward, looking for Harrison. Getting there late was Violato. Effects a spoil. And the ball is now out of bounds, 50 metres out. It's Bandura, 128. Northcote Park, 117. Do you feel cloaked that will push forward at some stage and become that forward target that we've seen so far this you, year? You think you'd have to. You, you saw him before when he, he did push up to that, uh, that I guess, converging of players. He, he did try to break forward and, and try to catch O'Connell off guard. So I'm sure when he does get the opportunity, he, he'll really push forward hard as Violato gets the ball from the clearance. He's switching kick. He really makes Mills weight under it, but he's good enough to hold. He's got options. And he's got options on this wing, as Tom said. Kicks it out to Carter. He's got a, well, he had space to run, but closing in quickly there was, uh, was, Brown on the mark, but he gets around Brown probably a bit too easily. Now kicks it forward under a bit of pressure as he kicked. Not the best option there as Shaw gets involved. Handball over top to Gray, the one two to Shaw. Kicks now to full forward. It's a three on one situation though. Doing well though, Santoro wins at the ground level, but Violator's able to sock off the ground and get the ball out of bounds. Violato's been fantastic in the, this opening quarter so far. He's got to pretty much every ball that they've kicked to Paul Harrison, apart from the one that he put through for Bandura's first goal. But I thought Violato's been absolutely brilliant at the start of this game. Now the Rucks to go at it. That one, one down by Dennis, but didn't go to any of his teammates. That was picked up by Letta there for Northcote Park. Dennis goes in again. Great second effort to pick up the ball. Gave out a handball to Mitchell. He doesn't have any help there at half forward, so he's going to be tackled by a few Northcote Park players, and they'll be a bounce. Another side able to really, really land a blow so far in this quarter. It's uh, it's been played in hard and close as, as Davies rather gets that ball out wide, and they're on that far wing now. Kick out wide, mark taken. That looks like it's Rajab on the far wing. He can cut inside to O'Connell if he wants. Otherwise, Mills, he does that. It's a lovely kick to Mills. Opens up the ground. Now he's got a very open forward line. Wunton makes his lead. He goes the other way. Though. It's a great oh. kick. And the mark taken in front of Trent Barbero there by Mitch Pappas, who was a, a standout last week. Kicked four goals. Had a really good run home. And the clearances so far, Michael? Uh, clearances 9-6 to six Northcote Park's way. And that inside 50 to Northcote Park was actually their first following five in a row for Bandura. So Mitch Pappas, four goals, three last week, and 38 goals for the year, coming in for number 39. He's about 50 metres out, slight angle on the right-hand side. He drifts it in the wind. It looks like it's going to carry, and it has. Lovely kick there from Mitch Pappas. He puts through his first of the day, 39 for the year, and a great start for Northcote Park. They are two goals, two, 14, and uh, Bandura is one goal, one eight. 2-1-13 to 1-2-8, we'll just correct on that one there, so waiting on that scoreboard to change up there, but I love the kick by Pappas, I actually thought when he, when he kicked it that uh, he hadn't really kicked through it, and I thought he, he might, might fall short, but uh, certainly had, uh, had plenty of carry on that ball there, and uh, never in doubt off the boot, so Pappas, a nice strong lead, and that really that kick into the middle, middle of the ground really opened it up, and, and once uh, Mills in space, a lovely kick out in, into Pappas' direction as well, but lovely skill execution there as Winton flies down, in fact it's Flynn in the middle of the ground who flew for that one, Davies goes in hard, taps it forward, looking for O'Connell, who ran in really hard there. Big bump laid, but his man Cloak stayed on the outside and got the footy, kicking it in the space of Carmuciano, who couldn't quite take the mark on the long lead. He's able to pick it up, though. Handball's back to his skipper, Shaw. Shaw now, from a standing start, thumps the ball 
fifth, towards the forward 50, getting over the top though is Paul Scanlon with the defensive spoil and fists it out of bounds. That's probably not a high percentage kick. Dennis had three players on him there and it was deep on the boundary on the outer side. Probably could have gone to the hot spot where Harrison was trying to make a couple of dummy leads, but uh, you do have to kick under pressure in that situation, Braden Shaw. And now the Rucks to go out. Lorenzini doing the third man up there. Tried to win it down to Hogan. Bounced off his hands. Chance for Bandura. Snap around the corner. Didn't... Uh, Threaten the goals really, that was Palazzolo and he's just pushed it to the right, it's going to be one behind Scanlon to bring it back in again once they find the ball from behind the goals. Well we are uh, have a break, of course Jason Heatley was named the Northern Region uh, AFL Victoria Coach of the Year during the week so congratulations to him on that one as well of course, uh, being a few worthy candidates as well, of course Brett Weatherall will have seen the crowd here today and also Brett Wilson who was the Premiership Coach of Murder after a great win yesterday is now the long kicker goes up to Mills on the wing, he flew for it, couldn't take the mark but at his feet there is uh, Michael O'Connell, great to see him back on the field, gives it off to Carter and he's got Rajab out in the space, Hamble was sloppy, Delidio did well though to slap it back to Carter, he's wrapped up in a big tackle from Dennis and it's going to be a turnover, Brent Marshall now thumping the ball inside, Harrison going to fly against Violato, oh. really great body work there by Paul Harrison. Got the sit and uh, took the big mark just out front of the goal square. A great effort there by Harrison. He's in form early on. And that's all you can ask from your key forwards. We see Travis Cloak always wrestling with his direct opponent. Paul Harrison just did it perfectly there. Used the body, didn't put it in his back, didn't push him around too much. Just used the body nicely and took a beautiful mark. And he should slot this one through. Pretty comfortable range, about 20 metres out. It's the key to get it in quickly, isn't it? We saw West Preston Lakeside last week and they weren't able to do that. And players like Violata were able to get back and, and peel off and make it a, a two-on-one contest in the aerial ball. But today, Thunder has got it in a couple times quickly and it's a lot harder when it's one on one as Harrison comes in and makes no mistake from 20 metres out and puts the balls back in front. It's Bandura, 2 goals, 3 15. Northcote Park, 2 1 13. We've played uh, just over 20 minutes here in this first quarter. It's been an entertaining start to the game and it's the Bulls leading here by two points. So two goals for Paul Harrison, and he's very hard to stop when he gets on. So the Northcote Park boys, they're going to have to be uh, aware when uh, he's in the area one-on-one -on -one with uh, Considine or Violato that the other boys come and help him out and spoil over the top because he is a serious threat when he's able to use his body one-on-one. -on -one. Now back in the middle, the two Ruckman. Uh, Wunton's gone in the Ruck now. He started the game at full forward, but he's pushed into the Ruck now. He's still going to be going up against Sibonella, who's done a pretty good job uh, contesting with Wunton and uh, the other boys have been in there, Flynn. And that one down from Sibonella, tried to get it in the direction of Carmuciano. Good uh, quick kick out of the pack there from Northcote Park, two half forward. Uh, free kick to Nyabru Kelly. His arms were chopped and he goes long inside forward 50. Chance for Coleman to take the mark. It's going to go over his head. Lord playing deep in defence and he just paddles it through for a behind. Just saw that one then. The kick came out to Kelly. He won the free kick for it, but how did the free kick not be paid? There was three Northcote Park midfielders that pushed up and were already at that contest and the, and the Bandura ones were, were just trailing in there. You can't really afford that because had the free kick not been paid, Davies is already at the feet and two others. Yeah. They had the break going, so a lucky let off perhaps there for Bandura. They just got to probably work a bit harder defensively there. They've been good early on though. They are undermanned here and still in the lead. It's 2 3 15 playing 2 2 14. 21 and a half minutes played as Cloak again goes a big torp down the middle of the ground to Dennis, who went to mark on, on the chest, couldn't quite take it cleanly. As Rajab's there to clean up, gets it out the card. It's a lovely kick to Michael O'Connell on the half forward flank. He's got Mills working hard for him. He goes on that lovely left foot. It's a great kick into oh. space. That is a beautiful kick by Michael O'Connell. And on the long lead is Mitch Pappies. He's playing on for mine, one of the one of the uh, premier defenders in the competition this season in Trent Barbera. He's had a standout, a standout year and wouldn't surprise me if he polled really well in the Bandura Best and Ferris Award. But Pappas has uh, led him to the footy a few times already. He's kicked one and this time here from 45 he can make it a second and take back the lead for the Cougars. He comes in Pappas, that kick's not as good off the boot, it's fading across the face. Oh. Mark was it taken on the line, no, it's Mills trying to, uh, to fool the umpire into one there, but both the goal umpire and the field umpire said it was over the line, so a minor score, and scores are now level. It's Northfield Park, 2 3 15, Bandura, 2 3 15, and how about Cameron and Cloak's kicks out of the fence? They've been magnificent, the two torps down the middle. Yeah, I'm wondering if he's going to go for it again, make Looks it three like for it. three. He looks like he's heading that way. He does go for the big barrel in the direction of uh, Dennis, but he's not going to quite get there. Palazzolo made the lead from the back. Hogan sharked it off the pack. Gave a little handball. Didn't really find any of his teammates. Couple of players surrounding the ball now. Uh, trying to get that one out was Palazzolo. He's wrapped up by a few, and there'll be a bounce at half forward for Northcote Park. Great to see. You don't see it, uh, too many defenders 
have the courage to, to go along. I guess the, the beauty for him is if he doesn't get onto one, it still goes at the best part of 50 metres, so he gets it out of that defensive zone. As now it's Delidio breaking from the clearance, kicking inside 50, but getting back and taking the, uh, the defensive mark there is Matthew Hyde. Loves Hyde, doing that. He switch it now, he's got David Mitchell to space. Gonna find him, might just pitch in front of him and doesn't actually oh. sit for him. So unfortunately, he was in space, but just missing the target. And we'll have a throw in and Michael, Northcote Park certainly on top of the clearances. They'll back themselves here. Yeah, they're up 11 to 8 and uh, they've got the only goal scored from a clearance so far. As it's Wunton to go up against Sibinella. Wunton gets front spot. Sibinella did really well though from behind. Tapped it away. O'Connell though picked it up. Handballing it to Noldred who dived on the footy. Could be in trouble if he doesn't get rid of it. Um, Pye said no. Dalbridge had dragged that in as well. So it's a, another, another ball up. Now 55 metres out from goal as that ball is tapped towards the boundary. Running onto it or trying to run, run onto it there was... Paddy O'Connell and the boundary line beat him, so we'll have another throw in. 58 from Melbourne. Been a really entertaining start to the game. Not much separating the sides as the scoreboard would suggest. We're, we're nothing is separating them. 15 points apiece. Stephen Eller again did really well. Tapped it to the back and Stalitz was there waiting. Handball off to Lord. Good bit of movement here. Lord's kick. It wasn't okay. conventional, but it's into the space of Marshall who ran back with the flight. Nipper Marshall. He's got an open forward line. He didn't move it on quickly. It's now getting more congested. He's got Dennis working back hard for him. He's leading into the same area as Moorcroft. He couldn't fly. He got his run blocked off there. And Hogan's at ground level. Handball over the top was smothered. Maybe a hold now against Hogan. It will be. And the free kick's going to go to the Bandura man in car line. Goes long to the vacant goal square. And a free kick's paid for a hold, it looks like. And Paul Harrison will kick his third goal because this, this kick's against Violato on the tip of the goal square. Now that's disappointing from Violato, he's an experienced defender, he didn't need to get his arms around him, Just, oh, I'm sure he was nervous after the last marking contest where Paul Harrison just used his body so well, but uh, you can't just grab a bloke by the jumper and swing him around a little bit, so uh, I think that's a fair free kick, and Paul Harrison to pop through his third goal, and he's looking extremely dangerous. So he comes now from about 20 metres out, no real angle to speak of, he'll give the Bulls a six point lead. And he does on the left foot, pops it straight through the middle. It's three goals, 3 21 Bandura to 2 3 15 Northcote Park. Great stuff here by Paul Harrison, really stepping up in a, in a big game. Had a, a disappointing week last weekend, but he's responding in the best possible fashion. And you saw Dale, Dale Nolan yesterday return for, for his first game in two months and kick four in the first quarter. And, and uh, Harrison's trying to rival that feat. 25 and a half minutes played, Bandura 3 3 21, Northcote Park 2 3 15. And for the first time, a side is able to kick consecutive goals today. I think Sibonella has been fantastic in the ruck at the moment. He's not uh, your traditional ruckman, a big tall fellow, his basketball style, but he's more of your bustly big fella who just bashes against them. a bit of a Shane Mumford, Damien Moncourse type who just b bashes into the direct opponent and tries to get first touch. He wins that one down again. Farrelly tried to pick it up off the ground. Noldrick going in hard. He gave a little handball off, but only as far as Dave Mitchell. He swings it inside half forward 50. Tried to find the target there in, uh, in Harrison, but well done there by the Northcote defence. Hands by O'Connell to Scanlon. Scanlon can go out wide to Rajab or Kelly who's slightly further afield. He does go to Kelly. He can give the hands to Rajab on the overlap. He can go inside now. There's a man pretty much on his own 10 metres out directly in front from goal and he takes the mark now. It's uh, O'Connell not directly in front exactly. Slight angle but he should pop this one straight through. That's how, inexcusable. How did he get so loose inside forward 50? You saw that the pack converge and, and they all led to the pocket and allowed O'Connell to double back and, and get into space but it was a, a three on two in that situation so fair enough the, the Bandura Tours followed their, their leading targets. You also saw streaming through the middle there was uh, was Morris unsighted as well. So they had two players coming through as O'Connell comes in. That kick's oh. going across the face and it's gone too far. It's a minor score for Northcote Park. So he's second behind for the day and it makes it a five point ball game. It's Northcote Park 2 4 16. Bandura is 3 3 21. Remembering the winner of this game here to take on Mott Marinci. After the Magpies went down yesterday to Heidelberg by 20 points, and as we say that, we see uh, Ryan Smith uh, walking across in front of us here. Of course, the coach of Heidelberg, who made a ninth consecutive grand final, a superb effort by the Tigers. As Cloak goes short this time, and he finds David Mitchell in the back pocket. Mitchell goes quickly. Dennis on the long lead, going back there. Well, oh. going back in the space was going to be Rajab. Didn't go and. Dennis marked in front of Constantine, he plays on quickly, goes back. Hogan was best positioned by that kick though, couldn't get a hand on it. Now Lorenzini's in a foot race with Salas. Lorenzini gets the handball out now. Far side, Daniel Leto, he did really well to trap that one there. Handball though, far too hot for Lorenzini, down to his ankles. He couldn't take it cleanly and we'll have a throw in. 
70 metres out from the Bandura goal. I thought he did well there. There was Shaw, Stellis and Farrelly all hot on his tail inside 50 and Lorenzini did well to get that one out of bounds and get a neutral stoppage there on the outer side. Now the umpire to ball it back in. Dennis has gone in for his first stint in the ruck. Sibonella is still there going third man up. Uh, Northcote Park get it though. Nice high kick in the air. It's uh, not going to really land for anyone, but Kelly's getting to the drop of the ball. It's going to bounce over his head. And now the ball tapped down in the direction of Brent Marshall. Went through his hands. Bit of tunnel ball. Uh, now tackled down straight away. Uh, Matthew Brown just right at the bottom of that pack. A couple of uh, Northcote Park boys got straight on top of him and there'll be a bounce. Warm day out here at Preston. It'll be interesting to see which side has the, uh, the more run late in the game because it is a, a hot day, which we haven't... Well, I guess we saw it last week, but it's, uh, it's been a really wet and, uh, and wintry uh, couple of months in the, in the latter rounds of the, of the season at the very least and certainly dried up for, uh, for September, which we love to see. Now yeah, that's going to be a free kick and it's going to go to Sibonella. Handballing off to... Oh, well, it's going to go to Carmugiano, in fact. And it's going to be a 50-metre penalty oh, yeah. and it's going to go against Kelly. And this is going to take Carmuciano within scoring distance to end up, well the man on the mark is going to end up about 30 metres out from goal, so... Don't know so, if it was Kelly, I think it might have been Noldrit, that's, that's who the Bandura boys are getting into. Okay, so free kick and then a 50 metre penalty and a chance for Carmuciano to extend the lead for Bandura to 11 points will be a game high lead. The start of the ball, the last two goals are Bulls and this one's certainly not beyond uh, the Bandura midfielder. Yes, Carmuciano is normally a beautiful long kick. And this to extend the lead, take a really handy lead into quarter time. It'll be an 11 point lead if he does pop this one through. Really important kick for Bandura to maintain the advantage as the siren goes for quarter time. So this is a massive kick for Carmuciano. Can extend the lead to 11 points with this kick. He's 30 metres out. I think he's just pulled it to the left. Disappointing result there for the Bandura boys. But the uh, scores at quarter time, three goals for 22 Bandura to two goals for 16 Northcote Park. Yeah, really entertaining quarter of footy. Would have been a great goal to get on that uh, on that quarter time siren, wasn't to be. And uh, as Tom alluded to, 3-4-22 to 2-4-16 in, in favour of Bandura. The goal kickers, Harrison with three goals. And for Northcote Park, uh, Carter has a goal. He kicked the first goal of the game. And Mitch Pappas has won it well, as well. So at quarter time, it's Bandura by six points. On your local station, 88.6, Plenty Valley FM. Good record on Moorcroft this year, and Shaw's gone into the forward 50, and he's been manned up now by Carter, which Bandura will hope will stop some of that drive that Carter uh, gets out of that, that back half as well by, by being manned up by one of the bigger men. Oh, well, I guess one of the more dangerous midfielders, and, and also a forward for, for Bandura with Shaw capable of kicking bags. We've seen him kick four goals on occasions this year as well. He kicks six against Heidelberg too, so no knows how to find the goals. The umpire holds the ball off, and we are underway again here in the second quarter. And doing the ruck work, Flynn up against Sibonella. Sibonella won it down, but Morris grabbed it out the middle, kicked it out wayward. Looks like it's in the direction of Leader there. He gets the ball, and he taps it in front, and he's away now. Good dash by Daniel Letter. Kicking to the top of the square, flying. We're waiting at the back. Might be a free kick for in the back here. It will be, it's going to go north, uh, pardon me, Bandura's way for that early fly. And uh, the free kick now goes to Hyde, who goes out wide to the far wing. Doesn't really favour his teammate with that kick. Ball falls to the front of the pack. Mitchell taken out now by Morris. Morris run around McLennan there, his own teammate. Kicks inside. Whoa. It's a great kick. And a really strong mark taken overhead by Narby Kelly. It's a hot pass, wasn't it? Nearly a slip through the fingers, but a, a confident lead. And Kelly now to go back. Hasn't kicked the goal today. And it's going to be pretty tough from deep in that pocket. You'll have to kick it the best part of 45 to 50 metres. And he's another one of those Northcote Park players who can, who can play like a wing position or he can play as a lead up forward, play as a forward pocket. Very versatile and uh, can be seriously dangerous around these sort of areas. Very deep in the pocket though. This is a difficult kick, but it would be a great start for Northcote Park if you put it through. Plenty of carry on it, but it's just uh, faded way out to the right and it's actually out on the full. So, a missed opportunity there for Narby Kelly. We wait for the ball to get back over the fence. It is now, and the kick out duties left with James Lord. Man breaks its cloak, breaks in from on him to the near side. Won't go there. He goes long down the line. Big pack converges. Stephen Allen will sit under it. Oh. Big fly from the back of the pack. Is that Flynn who's gone back and was well, paid for the man in front, in fact. So forget about what the caller says. Switch inside, finds Dave Mitchell. Inside defensive 50 still, he plays on. Can chip inside. It's a good kick for Marshall. Almost made him lead to that space, just forcing him to go central. Marshall now kicking the centre forward. Dennis has to fly against two. Lawrence Enney got to the back. Sport in front of the 
Carter, Carter switching across to Scanlon. It'll be downfield there. Wouldn't make a difference. Scanlon took the mark. Scanlon now opens up the ground. A kick to Pappas. Not a good one. He got a terrible bounce as well. Allow Shaw to get in. He fumbled. Letter. Now out to Bronick Davies. The skipper kicking inside. It's not a good kick. Over the head there of Kelly. Cloak picks up. Hacks the ball out of defensive 50. It's an up and under kick though. Hasn't got too much on it. Flying there, O'Connell. Falls to Carter. I mean, in fact, Davies to McLennan. He runs in. And the first goal of the quarter is kicked by Brock McLennan. And it was O'Connell, I think, who jumped back to the flight of the ball. He, he made, he did some damage to that pack. And in a bit of strife there, it might be uh, Del Bridge is still hurt after. A good handball over the top there by Davies. Through the defender. And on the left, left boot there, McLennan didn't make... Any mistake, really, his first impact on the game. And we were talking about being tight in the clearances, and Davies, Morris, Scanlon and Hogan have been absolutely outstanding in the middle there for Northcote. Uh, was initially the reason that it led to that goal. Bronick Davies was brilliant through the middle of the ground. Then a great finish from Brock McLennan, who, uh, when bestowed with the uh, chance to kick a goal, he usually doesn't must muck it up. Now, back in the middle, uh, ball comes down. Mitchell picks it up on the wing position, tries to go to half forward. Good effort by Hogan, half back, spoilt there nicely, and tries to collect his own ball as uh, innocent. Accepted there at the last second. Mitchell got back onto it, swung around the left foot, inside forward 50. Chance there for a mark from Moorcroft. Uh, ben McNeese was all over him, but did it fairly, and it rolled off their hands out of bounds. I thought um, Moorcroft did really well with his body. It looked like he was in that, that prime position, and McNeese somehow able to uh, get an arm around him and, and force the spoil. So well done on the attacking end there by, first off, by, by Moorcroft to really get that position, but, but McNeese really uh, got back into the contest as the throwing goes. Flynn up against Sivinar, ball comes to the back of the pack. Morris just somehow oh. broke through two tackles. He was stagnant for a while and just broke free. He kicked long. It's going to be turned over because Michael Mitchell is getting back to take the mark, defense, or the defensive mark, I guess, on that, on that wing, chipping inside. Finds Carl Lyon, played on straight away, or Carmuciano, in fact, kicking into Dennis, and he's oh. in the best position. And a strong mark taken by Matthew Dennis up against Considine there, and Dennis can go back now. Any score will put his side in front, but from 30 metres out directly in front, you'd have to back him from here. You'd say so. It's not really a difficult kick, and there's not really that much wind to speak of. A beautiful day out here at Preston City Oval, and Matty Dennis, uh, we know he's a pretty good kick of the ball. We back him to kick this one, and he puts a little bit of air into it, floats it towards the goals, and he's just faded out to the right. That's a disappointing miss. Need to take your opportunities in a big final like this. What was it? The, uh, the commentator's curse. We both put it on in, on in there. It's... Um Really would have backed him in from that position. We said a few miss from there. We saw um, in the first quarter O'Connell was able to get the 50, probably a bit further out, but yep. uh, f always both of them fading to that uh, the near side. As does Scanlon, as he always does with the kicking out duties, goes short this time to McNeese. You'd say he's got the honours on Moorcroft at the moment, McNeese. Yes, yeah, certainly. He was great at the last on the sides plate as well, remembering yeah. that. That's going to be a 50 metre penalty. It's going to go against Brent Marshall to Delita. Delita doesn't realise he's got the 50 yet, but. Uh, Certainly was dealt with Arthur, he, he took the mark. M Marshall argued he was during the marking contest, but uh, Deledio had the ball in his hand, so he's advanced up now to half-back. It was great last week, Deledio, he started really well again today. He, he had a good start to the year, and he's certainly having a good end to it as well, as he plays on now, and goes up to the half-forward flanks. So two players on the lead, they might spoil each other here, eventually work it out, and you hear the player crashing into the, uh, the signage afterwards. It's Pappas, goes inside, it's a great kick, and he spotted up a teammate, it looks like it's Kelly, who's marked 50 metres at similar position to where he had the last shot from, but just on the other side of the ground now. And uh, he missed that other one badly to the near side. Let's see if he's uh, learnt from that, uh, that previous kick as he comes in now. In front of the grandstand, Narby Kelly kicking to the Kramer Street end. Walks inside 50 now, kick on goal. Not a bad effort from here, will it have the carry? Oh. It just might, you know, and it's a great goal there to Narby Kelly. Makes up for that earlier miss, and well, they miss a couple of, of, of easier kicks, I guess. You look down the other end, and, and Dennis missed one as well for Bandura. It's the old two-goal play, isn't it? The, the regulation one missed, and, and Kelly makes the most of it. A pretty hard uh, shot of goal, it must be said. Yeah, I think we may have undersold that kick. That was about 55 metres out deep on the boundary in the left forward pocket, and fairly deep pockets out here at Preston City Oval. So it's an impressive kick from Narby Kelly. We know he's an extremely talented player, and he's been very important for Northcote Park all year. And Northcote Park now take the lead again. They are 4-4-28, leading Bundura 3-5-23, back in the middle. Now off the hands there of Flynn, kick inside 50 from Carmuciano, doesn't find anyone. Hogan takes an easy mark, half back, oh. swings into the middle, bullet kick into uh, Bronick Davies, the skipper. He can go further field, has got a couple of players making leads, one of them is Coleman, doesn't decide to go to that one. Oh, beautiful chip kick pass up to Letter. 
Nice little handball, and now kick inside forward 50, forward 50 entry. Here's Coleman. He swings around, he breaks around one tackle. Oh, got pocketed. Dispossessed beautifully there by Brent Marshall. Bandura have got a few players around this contest now. Can clear it away if they get it clean, but Northcote Park, they've still got possession here. Still maintaining it nicely uh, through Nick Carter, and he's a beautiful ball user. Goes inside forward 50. Great oh, mark. That's a beautiful mark over the top. Defensive. Fantastic effort there. Uh, is that Matty Hyde there at the back who's taking that beautiful mark? Actually, Farrelly is taking the mark. And he chips to that wider still to uh, Dalbridge. Interesting there, when uh, the ball was at halfback, you just saw McNeese just streaming off Moorcroft, trying to work him up the ground as well. So, early stats this quarter, Michael. Ah, uh, yes, inside 50s, North Park's way 7 2, and it's been more <coughs> open quarter this quarter by both teams. Only the four clearance opportunities have happened so far. As the ball goes long up to the wing now, Cloak, well he didn't really put an arm up, falls to Hogan, got a handle, that was a clean handle under pressure. Now Deledio snaps the ball around, not 15, you heard the umpire, it bounced anyway. Morris, handball, a nice little flick there by McLennan, opens up the space, Mills now runs to 60. Advantage played after he got one high, kicks it inside. Matty Hyde leads a foot race though, but he gets to the back of the pack. Fall the ball, handball comes to the outside. In there again, gee, that's a big tackle laid. Ball falls to the ground, and Bandura will stream out of, out of half back now. Shaw out on that far wing. Ball doesn't sit for him, allows Lorenzini to get in. They've got enough numbers around to get out of it. Big tackle laid, ball that far side still. It's not tidy here for Bandura, but they're going to still get away with it. Shaw gets it on now to, to Gray. Back to Michael Mitchell, who chips up now, and finally a clean disposal. Found and it finds Santoro. It's a lovely switch inside. Finds Palazzolo. Handballs off to the running man, Farrelly. Farrelly kicks it out in the space, looking for Harrison. But getting oh. back and taking a fine overhead mark is Nick Carter. Been outstanding, Nick Carter, so far in this first half. He's got it at half back on the left side. And he's looking for a couple of options. He's going to go the switch across the ground. And he finds a teammate there and takes an uncontested mark. Now Northcote Park moving through the middle of the ground. Grubby kick in the direction of Letter. He was taken high by Brent Marshall. Yeah, so he'll have the free kick right in the middle of the ground for Northcote Park. Northcote Park five point lead here at the moment at the Preston City Oval. Hands off from Letter, gives it to Morris. He's usually a pretty good kick of the ball. He goes inside forward 50 out there. Nice work by Delbridge on the outer side to punch the ball out of bounds and there'll be a throw in. So it's 3-5-23 playing 4-4-28. Northcote Park with the two goals this quarter. Remembering that Bandura led by six points at quarter time as the umpire throws it in. We've played nine minutes in the second quarter. Flynn, a nice tap at the back. The Bandura men read it though. Falls to the feet there of Dal Bridge. Handballed back into the traffic, but getting out of it there is uh, Michael Mitchell. Lovely bit of work, kicking up, looking for Shaw. He attacked the footy, but so too did Lorenzini. Got the spoil, now works it inside. Scanlon. Runs 360 till he finds a target and he finds Lorenzini 15 metres away. Lorenzini hemmed up on the boundary on that far side. Kicks it centrally. Finds Morris. Now what can Morris do? Plenty of numbers back. You can see Cloaks. He's got his big frame just plonked in the hot spot. Morris goes wide. Looking for Wunton. Haven't called his name too often oh. today. Nearly had good purchase on that one. Couldn't quite bring it to ground level. Handball comes inside. Paddy O'Connell. Cloak did enough to spoil it away from him, then gets the handball. Matthew Hyde now runs out of his defensive goal square, goes to the grandstand side, marking contest. Oh. Nick Carter, well, putting another contender for best on ground again today, chipping inside and finds McLennan, a diving Brock McLennan. Gee, Carter's a good mark overhead, isn't he? He's not a tall man, but uh, every time you get him one on one in the marking contest, you can bet your bottom dollar if he doesn't mark it, he's going to at least affect a spoil. And now he's set up Brock McLennan, who You'd probably think he's right on his range here, kicking from just on 50. Yeah, I'd say so. That's why he's gone in short. Tries to hit up the man, Pappas, who made the short lead. Bandura's going to rebound, though. Carline over the top with the overlapping handball. And now uh, moving from the outer side. Nice work by Matty Hyde. Finds a teammate there on the outer side. Uh, it's, uh, Braden Shaw has taken it the skipper, and he can go further afield. Tries to find Dennis, who tried to take it one-handed, but it's just bounced off his hands and gone out of bounds. Now, it's on the full. I think Dennis was trying to keep it in. It was a wide kick there by Shaw. They've been really forced wide this quarter, haven't they? Haven't been able to find any ball through that centre corridor, whereas Northcote Park has, and they've done it again because Lorenzini's opened up the ground for Carter. Plays on now, gets around Mitchell. Thumping the ball inside. That's a great kick into space of uh, Morris. Will it sit from a dozen quite? Deledio ran at the footy, picks it up now. Dispossessed. Looking for the free for the hold, none giving. Handball inside. McLennan can run onto his 30 metres up from goal. Gee, doing really well though is Michael Mitchell. Handball's out now to Clark, who's spent all day in defence. Torps the ball again. He's done that four times today. Will it pitch or will it go out? It, it sits up, but perfectly for Paul Scanlon. And Scanlon goes now to O'Connell. A great kick. Michael O'Connell. Thumping on that left foot, 
A few are going to fly for this one. Wunton came from the back. Couldn't take the mark, but got the ball ground level. Handball's off to Morris. We saw him kick one from here last week. And he's done it yet again from 50. Doug Morris. Great bit of work there by Wunton. He just attacked the footy. Picked it up off the bounce. And we saw Morris stream into goal last week from 50. Kicking to the city. And he made it without any doubt. He's done it again down the other end. And Northcote Park now out to him. A game high lead of 11 points. Magnificent hard running and aggression there from Wunton. Crashed the pack and kept going and uh, picked it up again. Gave off a beautiful handball and then Doug Morris, he doesn't miss from there. He's a beautiful long kick and, uh, and their kicking has been one of the features of their game so far this year. They've been brilliant off half back and through the middle of the ground uh, just with their precise ball use, the Northcote Park boys. And that's continuing today. It's 5 4 34 Northcote Park, 3 5 23 Bundura back in the middle of the ground. McLennan trying to win the clearance here again. Does very nicely. Gets around one. Gave off a little handball. Rad Jab inside 50. Beautiful play, Northcote Park. There's going to be another shot on goal. Shelly Wunton is marked again. They're doing it really well out of the middle. I don't think Davies is having quite the impact he's had in past weeks. He's obviously had such a great year, but some of the other players really standing up. The leader again is having a, a great game in the middle, and now Wunton's starting to get his hands on the footy. This will make it four unanswered goals in this second term. We've only played well, less than 13 minutes, and they can put a fourth on the board as Wunton comes in. Kick off the boot is fading late. And it's uh, just gone across the face of the goal. So a minor score there for Joey Wunton. It's 5 5 35 to 3 5 23. This quarter so far is just one behind for Bandura. Northcote Park's at a 3 1. Any indication the stat sheet says as to why that might be the case? Uh, inside 50 is 14 to 3 this quarter, and four marks inside 50 at 2 1 to Bandura. Yeah, so you can just tell from that uh, the amount of entries forward that uh, they're clearly going to have the dominance on the score. Good but Zippendall has taken a great mark from this kick out, beating two players, goes up the line. Dennis has to wait under it, allowed Constantine to, to run at, it, at the footy and, uh, and affect the spoil. Davies wrote a big bump there. You could hear the, the jarring in the effects mark. A great hit. A fair one at that as well. And Davies bounces straight back up and gives a, a slap on the backside there to, to Constantine who, who made that good spoil. He'll be right at the bottom of this next pack, Davies. Don't worry about that. McLennan's had a good quarter as well. We mentioned when he kicked the goal that he, he it was probably the first time he called his name. But, but since he's, he's really been lively... I know he passed that one off earlier, but he probably would have been better have, having a shot, but he's done a few things where he didn't just tap the ball out in the space a couple of times and run hard at it. It's his pace around the forward line that's causing some headaches as that ball won forward, wrapped up straight away there, David Mitchell, and it's McLennan who wraps him up. And the umpire now calls for the footy back, throws it up quickly as Flynn wins that one down emphatically, running through there, Michael O'Connell. He's been good, it must be said. He, of course, he returned after a long layoff with a, a foot or, or an ankle injury, which he did against Montmorency. He came back in the last game of the year. Missed last weekend, but he's been good today. He lays a tackle that time on David Mitchell. Hamble still got out to Carmusciano. Threw one at the back of the shoulder. Davies ran hard at the footy. McLennan picked it up. Oh. Dealt with afterwards. And it's going to be a high free kick. And the ball in the hands of uh, Michael Mitchell. You can see they're going after McLennan, aren't they? The young kid. He's, uh, he's standing up to the challenges. O'Connell now kicks it up the line to Mills. Who haven't called too often today. He was very lively last weekend. He chips it inside. Good looking kick, but getting across and taking a fine defensive mark is James Lord. And Lord now goes through the middle of the ground. If they can be clean, they've got the runners here. Stellas picks it up on the half volley. He goes inside forward 50 in the direction of Moorcroft. Can he be mercurial here? Gives the hands off to Dennis on the up. He tries to snap it around the corner into the hot spot. Didn't work out. Stellas taken high. He'll have a free kick about 50 out. Regardless of that, how good was McNeese's second effort? He, he laid the pressure on Moorcroft. He was up again quickly to make that spoil. Now Violata laid a, a good spoil there on... on uh, Harrison, he kept the ball in now. Don't know why they played on there. He gave it across to McNeese, who's a dangerous switching ball to Mills. He was good enough to pick it up at the ankles. Takes a bounce, runs around Dennis. It's dangerous. The bounce doesn't come back to him, but he's now out to defensive 50. A daring run. Handball's inside now. The Carter gets it back. Great work there by Jake Mills. He's now moved to the wing. He got this ball well, originally in the uh, goal square, and he's a bit tired in the kick, and it's cut off there by James Lord. Lord doing a nice job there, just doing that role there at halfback. Nice work. And he gets it out to the outer side. Dennis tries to take that mark. Gives a little handball. He's got a runner there. Uh, it's uh, Shaw on the outer side. He tries to get a little handball out. Not successful. <laughs> Doug Morris picks up the scraps and he takes a bounce on the outer side. Running uh, with the footy and kicks nicely inside forward 50, but it's a bit too wide. It's out on the full. I thought it was going to be a nice lace out pass, but it just faded. Where that lead went really, isn't it? Mm. And, uh, no margin for error when you're pushing out towards the boundary line. Barbero now to take the kick in. Kicks it long, but it's a two-on-one contest. And Lorenzini is all by himself at the back of the pack. Takes the mark. He's a raking left foot kick. He gets onto it now. Goes to about 30 out. Man at the back oh. of the pack. Nearly took that one was Patrick O'Connell. Kelly runs onto it. Breaks the tackle. Handball to Morris. Tackle to the kick. Goal-saving tackle, did say. 
Ball falls to the front of the pack now where Bandura have men. Santoro handballing it. Well, Miss Mitchell is able to tap it on. They're going to get away with this th through a sheer weight of numbers as James Lord, having a good quarter, kicks up to the grandstand wing and a great mark taken running back with the flight by Carmuciano. Great kick by James Lord there. And Carmuciano now with the ball on the right foot, kick into the middle of the ground, finding Farrelly over the top, but it just bounced over him. Good contest by O'Connell. Did well, but got tackled then. Could be paid for holding the ball. Rajab uh, helping him out there on the outer side. Now he can go with a short ball into Morris if he likes. Does that now and finds him. Got Carter on in the middle as well, and Davies. Yes, couple of good options there. Goes with the first one, Carter. He can use his foot skills. He goes inside forward 50, worm burning <laughs> pass. He hits him. That's uh, a fantastic effort by Nick Carter. And now Coden Coleman can have his third shot of the day. Uh, sorry, second shot of the day and uh, line up for his first goal. Leads hard at the footy, doesn't he, Coleman? I thought Carter really could have had a bounce and, and run all the way. And I thought he'd made the mistake when he, when he passed it off because Santoro was getting across. But it was just a, a bullet, wasn't it, by Carter? And now in the hands of Coden Coleman. Hasn't kicked one yet today. He'll come in to make it a three-goal ball game. That kick looks pretty good off the boot. It's coming so, back. It's a goal. All clear given, and Coden Coleman gets his name on the score sheet. It's Northcote Park, six goals, 541. Bandura, three, five, 23. It's now four goals to zip in this quarter, and Northcote Park certainly putting their foot down in the second. Nick Carter has to be best on ground at the moment. I reckon he's had three, maybe four direct goal assists from his uh, beautiful kicking through the middle of the ground. He's just hit targets at will. He, he doesn't kick footy, he kicks missiles, doesn't he? Exactly. He's out in the, a couple of times he's forced, you know, forced to lead into space and Coleman attacked that footy hard. I thought, as I said earlier, Santoro would get across, but just hit him straight, laces up on the chest. And now back in the middle, Wunton wins that one down from Sibinella. Wrapped up straight, of the, straight away though was Davies in the middle of the ground. And there'll be another bounce right in the middle of the centre circle. Umpire throws it up, the two rucks to go at it again. Wunton climbs way over the top of Sibinella there, using him as a step ladder, gets it down. Now a chance there for Mills. Gave a little handball out, intercepted slightly, but Chewy Scanlon does very nicely. Gets the ball with the uh, right foot kick to the outer side of the ground. Now O'Connell's got the ball, no one coming at him, so he can just run towards the goals. Heads inside Ford 50 in the direction of Kelly. Uh, bounced off his hands, a lot of players involved in this pack. Now chance here again, lovely work by Noldrup bursting through the pack, but the kick was no good, just floated high in the air. James Lord took Ooh. an uncontested mark, played on, maybe should have uh, gone back on his mark, but it's gonna work out in the end. Good handball chain to get him out of defense, and Stellis takes the relieving mark on the wing. They're away now, they've got plenty of spread running through the middle of the ground. It looks like it's uh, Marshall kicking it long now, looking for Moorcroft, Dennis to fly Ooh. as well. Spoil made by Considine, at ground level, Moorcroft picks it up, gives the handball away. Ball is set up there by Camusciano, 30 metres out pitches, and well, Michael O'Connell nearly took the mark, he thought he had first purchase, umpire said no touch, but he got it out to Davies, now to Scanlon, how many times we call that this year, now back to Davies, handballing over to Letter. they're running in waves here, Letter runs into the middle of the ground, kicking up, looking for Coleman, lands in front of him, he attacks the footy, able to get the handball away to Patrick O'Connell, he's got a man back inside and oh, running back hard the other way, Coleman. is Coden Coleman, doubling back, and he took the mark, Probably 25 metres at tight angle, but it probably favoured the right foot kick from here. He has kicked the uh, last goal of the game as well. They just ran him, ran him waves. There was Scanlon, Davies, Letter got involved. Letter's been good as well, it must be yep. said. And uh, that hard ball movement as well. Good work by O'Connell deep in defence as well. They're a brilliant team of role players, Northcote Park. And Coden Coleman, he's set up this opportunity for himself with a great second effort. And he's taken the mark and gone back with the kick. He should put it through for a goal, but he's just faded it out to the right. And it's going to be one behind there. Uh, the score now, uh, Northcote Park, six goals, seven. Uh, sorry, six goals, six, 41. Uh, Bandura, uh, three goals, five, 23. And we played 20 minutes now in this quarter. Cloak won't kick out this time. Looks like it's Hyde who's gone with the kick this time. Looking for Dennis oh. and Clue. Got his hands on it. Leader grabbed the ball at ground level. Handball's off Noldrit. Now to Morris, kicking out into the space on the lead. Is that Wonton flying? Ball hits the ground. Look at the pace there. McLennan off to Lorenzini. He's wrong footed. Handball inside. Eventually found Pappas kicking inside in hope more than anything. And it's going to be turned over and taking the mark for Bandura in the fence. Is it. Hard oh, no, in fact it's Matty Brown who's taken the mark. Chips it in short. And this time Michael Mitchell gets the ball out of defensive 50 now. In the hands of Dalbridge on the far side of the ground. Handball into Shaw, gets it back. 1-2. 
Now running through Brown, long kick outside, looking for Cloak. Didn't fly, he waited for the ball, hit the ground, he's onto it now. He runs at the back of it, allows his teammate to take it. Kick up forward for Moorcroft, just lands in front of him. McNeese wearing him like a glove. Moorcroft tries to run around him, but McNeese won't go to ground. Importantly, kept his feet. It's been magnificent, McNeese. And a throw in goes. I mean, they've stopped more, the Harrison in this quarter, they haven't really had an avenue to goal, have they? McNeese is wearing. Uh, wearing Moorcroft down and, and Cloak hasn't been able to get his hands on the footy at, in the forward half. He's grabbed that one out of the ruck. He's being tackled straight away. It's holding the ball. Quickly taken by North Park. Kick up to the wing. Getting back though is Michael Mitchell. Plays on straight away. In fact, it wasn't Mitchell. It was, uh, it was Brown again. Because Shaw's marked and you can go to Mitchell now. Davies got there just in time to stop that one. And now Shaw told to go. Finds Mitchell who's doubled back now. Mark on the 50. No one stands on that mark. Error made there, allows him that extra five metres to get the ball to the top of the goal square. Ball though, spoiled away and into the waiting arms of Hogan who spears one to Letter. Letter now to Morris. There's that wave running again. They've got Hogan on again if he wants to use him. He opts not to. Kicking it long, looking for, uh, for Pappas who pushed up the ground but James Lord got across him and cut off that ball with a good mark. He's had plenty of it this quarter, Lord. He's been promising. And he goes long up the line looking for Dennis. Has the height over Carter but couldn't take the mark. Running now, Considine and Farrelly. Farrelly toe poke on. Violato though. Stopped that one. Got it onto Davies. Kicks the ball into the middle of the ground. And they're away here. This is Hogan. Hogan takes a bounce straight away. Takes another one. Just backs his pace here. Being chased out by Marshall. Kicks it now long to the top of the square. Bouncing ball. Might just trickle through for a point. It came off hands. And a minor score, they, gee, they turned defence into attack within two kicks there. And it's punched in for a rush behind. Northcote Park, 6 goals, 7-43. Bandura, 3-5-23. And again, that's their magnificent ball users out of the half-back line. Deledio and Carter and Hogan. Uh, they're, they're just wonderful the way they move the ball from the back line. This quarter, Michael, just one point for Bandura. Some of the stats are they're, they're really struggling getting, getting the ball forward. Yeah, they're, they're struggling for options up forward. They've only had the three marks inside 50. And compare that to North Park's nine and six individual markers have taken a mark inside 50. Yeah, struggling for avenues. Obviously, uh, Harrison took that, that big mark early on in the game and, and also got that free kick where he was held out of the marking contest. But, but since then, really, they haven't looked threatening. But the scoreboard's 20 points difference. Still anyone's game. From this clearance, Northcote Park's going to take it away. Hogan got on the outside. Now they're moving Carter back to oh. Lorenzini, who can almost run to 60. He can keep going. He can almost have a shot. He runs to centre half forward. Now, long kick from 60. Won't quite have the legs, will it? And it's touched on the goal line. He probably had five more metres to run. It probably was a difference in the end. He didn't quite get the journey. A minor score. Northcote Park, 6 8 44. Certainly peppering the goals lately. Bandura, 3 5 23. Just holding on here, the Bulls. James Lord again has the ball in the back pocket. He goes long to Cameron Cloak, who should take the mark over the back. He uh, was oversized against his smaller opponent, but wasn't able to uh, bring it down. And the ball went to ground, and it's going to be uh, a bounce there deep uh, on the wing position right in front of us. Well, it hangs in the balance now, doesn't it, for Bundura? In their premiership defence now, they have to find an answer. They've struggled this quarter. It's four goals to zero. They haven't looked likely, but they're still in the contest. They must respond now if they have to ha are to have any chance of progressing further further this season because it looks like, so well, in this quarter anyway, that Northcote Park, well on top. Ball force, the front of the pack. Leader wrapped up straight away by two tacklers. One of those, Stephen Aller, has been good. Must be said he had a better first quarter, I felt, than, than the second. He gets up early this time, wins a nice tap down. But taken away there by Brock McClendon, who's been quick out of these packs. Kicking ball is cut off, though, at half-back by Marshall. Plays on, goes long down the line. Staying back, though, and, and staying down as his coach ordered there is, uh, is Considine. Chipping inside, it's a dangerous kick. Hogan forced to spoil, but uh, again, weight of numbers enables them to get away with it. Carter kicking inside. Lord again trying to trap this one off. Doing good work at the back. There was Kelly who attacked the footy, but it might be a free kick for a high one here. And it's going to go Bandura's way. And it's in the hands now, Hyde, switching ball, Brett Marshall. Can go to his skipper, Shaw, who's just come on now. Might go in that direction. Instead, went more central for Car Lyon. He couldn't mark it, but as that happens, the siren sounds. And what was a great quarter for Northcote Park, they piled on four goals to zero to the Kramer Street end of the ground, and as such, take a pretty handy lead into half time. It's Northcote Park, six goals, 8 44, leading Bandura. Three goals, 5-23. The goal kick is in the first half. Well, it's all singles for Northcote Park. Singles each to McLennan, Nick Carter, Nia Barry-Kelly, Coden Coleman, Mitch Pappas, and Doug Morris. 
for Van Dura, just the one goal kicker so far this afternoon. That's Paul Harrison who kicked three goals, all of which came in the first quarter. They're struggling for goal avenues. Remembering last weekend, had only three goal kickers as well. And Hasn't really been a different tale so far today. Still plenty of footy to be played though. It's only 21 points, so certainly anyone's game is slot, slot for grabs. But as we go to half time, it's Spandura 3-5-23, trailing Northcote Park 6-8-44 on your local station. 88.6, Plenty Valley FM. Interesting half. Do it again, Northcote. Yeah. To tip them. Um, they're playing very good footy. They're very quick, aren't they?